In this lesson, you will learn how to create additional wall types. Wall assemblies are created within the Edit Assembly dialog box. Here you can add layers, materials and thicknesses. To create sweeps and reveals, you can change the view to a section. You then have access to the modification tools for vertical structures. Sweeps and reveals can be added to walls to create details such as chamfers and capping details. The shape of the sweep or reveal is defined within a profile family. Stacked walls are very convenient when you have a change in thickness or material. For example, you may have a concrete wall that is thicker at the base or perhaps a blockwork wall with a concrete plinth. A separate analytical model is also created for structural analysis. Go ahead and open up Project A from your previous session. Once the project is open, go ahead and open up the site plane. You may remember that the site plane contains our grid, dimensions and columns, but also the DWG file that was linked into the background. Our first task is to create a new wall type for our structural concrete walls. These are 350 millimeters thick and are going to be created from C40 concrete. To do this, on the structure ribbon, let's go ahead and select wall. In the properties palette, you'll note here we have basic wall as our active style. We'll select the type selector and in the type selector, I'm going to begin by selecting generic 300 millimeter. I'll then click edit type. In the Type Properties dialog box, you can see here that we have a preview. In this case, this is a vertical section, but of course we could also set this to a plan preview as well. Here we have the option of duplicating the style or renaming the style. This is a system family, and as we described in an earlier session, you cannot load system families, but you can transfer these from other projects. In this example here, we're going to duplicate the style and then we'll rename this. So this one's going to be RC wall 350. We'll go ahead and select OK. And now we can edit the structure. In the edit assembly dialog, you'll see that we currently have a floor plan for our preview. Note that when you start up this command, the preview may not be available. So in the bottom left hand corner of the dialog box, you can activate or deactivate your preview window. As also described in the PowerPoint session earlier on, you'll notice that all the buttons down the bottom here to modify our vertical structure are greyed out. If I want to access these, then I'd need to change the view here to section. And now when the section view is displayed, you can see that we have access to creating sweeps and reveals and also been able to modify and assign layers and so on. In this example here, we'll just select floor plane and we're going to create a very simple concrete wall. Under the layers area of the dialog, you can see here that we have a core boundary and currently we have one structure. As we go to the function pull down, you'll notice that we have different functions here for different layers of our wall. So the structure is the main load bearing body and this has the highest priority, which is set to one. So this will try and join into other elements. The lowest priority would be number five, and the finish one and finish two would be the internal and external finishes. These are of course architectural features. So in our case, we just want structure. The next thing we'll do is set our material. So once again here, I shall browse out to our materials browser. We want to assign the same C40 concrete that we used earlier for our concrete columns. We can do a simple search by typing in C40, we can see here that we have our concrete cast in place C40. Don't forget here that all of the settings are as we left earlier on. So you can see we have our cut pattern, which was concrete. We have our graphical appearance, which is the concrete appearance here. And of course, we also have our physical properties for that material. OK, so we'll go ahead and click OK. And now that's assigned to our edit assembly dialog. Here we'll change the thickness. So we'll type in 350. Because this is the only layer, this will default to being the structural material. But of course, if I had a composite wall, then I could decide which part of the wall is going to be my structural material. We also have an option for wraps. 
and that will only be used if we have finishes and we can then take things like a screed or a plaster finish and wrap that round the corner of a wall or an opening. OK, so our edit assembly dialog box is now complete. We'll select OK and OK again and you can now see this wall is ready for use. We'll go ahead and use this in the next session. OK, so make sure you save your model and in the next session, we'll start to create our concrete core walls.